play Oluyo in the movie The King's Horseman. I'm on the set of The King's Horseman, and I'm the Horseman in Leshioba, the real Leshioba. <laughs> I play the role of Olunde in The King's Horseman. I play the character of the young bright. I play Jane Pilkins, who is the wife of a uh, colonel who's working in Nigeria in 1940s. Madam Taiwo is a social critic of the colonialists. She's full of contempt for them because they're prancing around like they're civilized, whereas we consider them to be ill-bred. Again, Tamusa is a, a local policeman responsible to the British uh, government, I mean, the, the colonial masters. I play the role of the resident. He's largely responsible for the, the meddling of the colonialists in the film. I'm actually the resident's uh, right-hand man, and uh, the district officer is also my colleague, and he's also a higher rank than me. I play the character of Iyaloja. Olumi for me is a, a very unusual witness. Election Oba is a very free man in the community. They love him so much. Election is very close to Kabiesi. And according to the story and according to what happened there, you know, Election Oba, uh, Election Oba will die 30 days after the death of the king. Eleshomba comes into the market and he sees this young bride and he says he wants to have her and nobody, absolutely nobody, can object to it. He be the only other person as a pivotal to the story as Yaloja. Yaloja ho! Awu! Iwa logba higba ha logba okpa e togba okede todo todo Yaloja stands as the one who is sort of the gatekeeper between the colonials and our people. And I think she did a fantastic job in protecting that gate and protecting what we hold dear. The young bride also represents the catalyst to Elisheba's downfall. As a tragic hero, the zeal to satisfy his sexual pleasure was literally his tragic flaw. And he, he activated this when he saw the young bride. He wanted to have her. No matter what it will be, something, sometime, <laughs> will change the whole setup, might change the whole plans. So we have to be very, very careful. In this kind of a story, election or by is not being careful enough. The king, who is late, he's currently in between all of these realms. He needs Eleshomba to easily and quickly transition from the realm of the living into the realm of the dead, finally, so he can have his rest. But when Eleshomba delays, you know, by wanting to make love, by wanting to marry this young bride, it comes with a curse. Olunde is a man who is very steeped in tradition, um, but more so, he not only understands and fully embraces his culture, he has the exposure that allows him to see his culture from the viewpoint of the rest of the world and how you know, the African story fits in to the global narrative. His effort to discharge the duty given to him by his colonial master made it to have confrontation.
I worked very closely with Madame Taiwo, who is played by Auntie Taiwo Ajayi Lysed. And the two of us are like the critiques of the period of the play. We're looking at them and wondering how it has come to this, to our society, that we have to put up with this buffoons. Of Simon Pilkings is, uh, it's a pivotal role. I mean, what's interesting in this story is that it happens over one night and you've got these two completely different things. In one world, you have a king who's died and tonight is the death of the horseman. And on this side, you've got a British prince who's coming to visit. And this has got those people excited and this has got those people excited. And the, they, you know, where they clash and it creates this world that just can never recover. It's just fall. She is you know, living in a foreign country, trying to make the most of it, trying to learn about the people, feeling like she knows a lot, and through the course of the story, she realizes that she actually knows very little. I am excited about it. I'm excited for everyone to see this incredible piece of, of, of literature. Um, you know, that B.E. Bandili um, has written the, the screenplay for and which he directed. We've been very lucky in, in, our, you know, in our choice of actors. Um, in terms of making the period correct, um, I mean, we're shooting this entire movie in Lagos in 2021. Um, but if you watch the film, it takes you to 1944. I found the characters quite gripping and I found the way that our director B.E. has translated it for screen. Um, really excellent, thought-provoking, engaging, and that's very important because it's not going to be the same as it was on, on stage. It's going to be different. It's the same story, but it's going to have to be told in a very different way. Um, and eventually, you know, Prof decided to give me the rights. And of course, you know, we partnered again with, with, our, with, with our trailblazing partners, you know, Netflix. Um, as a co-production on, on this project. I'm so excited um, about Elesh Yoruba. It's Yoruba language, I am Yoruba. So you need to go on, 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 you need to go on,